Hi guys and welcome to another video. Uh, so today is the release of the Generation 3 Arabian Horse and as I promised last week I would do a video about this because I do have a lot of Arabian Horses and some of them are Generation 1 and definitely need an update so yeah. I feel like I look like a mess today because well I've just showered and I just wanted to do this right now so <laughs> I didn't get the I didn't do the time to do anything so I look like a mess but I don't care. Anyway, uh so this is one of my Arabian Generation 2 horses. I used to have the Generation 1. I think you can actually see it in one of the uh my oldest videos um, and her name is Snow White Queen and here we have a generation 2 Arabian again East Wind uh, generation 1 right yeah and look at the spiky mane and stuff the reason there is a great generation 2 but the reason why I didn't update this horse was because I like um, the color of this horse. It has a little bit of special color, I think. Uh, but of course the Generation 1 Arabian horse um, is kind of Spongebob square pants-ish. I mean, it, it's edgy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's Evening Mist. This horse uh, is named after a horse I know and real life, um, aka my silent hero. <laughs> uh, her name is First, uh, Generation 1 again. Um, I feel like this horse um, First doesn't have much uh, white drawings on her and this horse doesn't have that either, which is why I'm not gonna update this one. Not unless SSO creates a new Arabian horse, brown Arabian horse, or bay, if you may, um, without any white markings. Or the real life first has one um, white crown on one of the hooves uh, and just a C in her forehead. So I don't want to change this horse yet. Generation 2 horse. Oh my, I forgot if her name is, I think it's, there were two horses that I named Alima and Malika. One of them had something to do with queen, the other had something to do with strength. And this is the one with the strength, obviously. Uh, the queen horse, I think that's Malika. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I sold that other horse. Uh, so that name that the other horse had has moved on to one of my Akal Teke horses, I think. So I'm not sure if this is Alema or Malika. I'm gonna write it on my video in the editing process, probably. <laughs> this horse is the one that I'm gonna update today. And her name is Autumn Dancer, uh, Generation 1. Um, I don't think they did a Palomino update for Generation 2, so it was about time. Am I right? Uh, and then I also had this one in generation one once. I updated it to generation two and it's Ravenheart. Uh, I may update her to generation three. I'm not sure yet because I like the one white sock. Um, but maybe, maybe not. So I am today gonna update Autumn Dancer. Maybe I'm gonna update this one. Uh, I am probably going to update my Snow White Queen. Uh, this horse, they did have a new... Um, now I don't remember what they call that color in English. <laughs> but they did update this one, sort of. But I still feel like this one is much better. Because this one is also named after a horse I know in real life. And that is actually First's daughter. 
spirit. Um, she liked to kiss. That's why I call her spirit kiss in the game. This one actually looks a lot like her and she is no longer with us unfortunately so I kind of just want to keep this horse as her because she's um, quite a lookalike and the best lookalike in the game. Uh, and besides, I am not a big fan of the updated version either, so... And then the Pint Arabian horse, and that is my Sahir. Uh, we haven't said anything about updating Pint Arabians, so... Uh, we'll see, but this is a generation 2, so maybe, maybe they will update that one too. Um, okay! I can just go and get Autumn Dancer and ride her as I <laughs> go to buy the horse that's going to replace her eventually. <laughs> I feel like that's a little bit treacherous, but <laughs> it's almost cruel. But yeah, I... As I've said, the Generation 1 horses, um, I remember my uh, third horse, I think I've said this in one of the er earlier videos, that my third horse in the game was, in fact, the Brown Arabian, the Bay Arabian. Um, and I was so excited about buying her because, well, it was... A very close look-alike to... Oh no! Really? Okay, I'm gonna find something that looks... alike. <laughs> uh, problem is I have too much tack, but okay. Let's go. And yeah, as you can see, I've already gotten the New Arabian Horse Bridles, but we can't use them on the Generation 1, so... No use in trying to show what it looks like on this horse. Uh, I think I read that the black one was in Fort Pinta. And all the other Arabian horses that have been released yet are at Goldspurs. So I'm gonna head straight for Goldspurs. And another thing with the Generation 1 Arabian horse is... It moves a lot like the all the old Generation horses. It's very bouncy um, and squarey again. Um, it doesn't really stretch out like a real life horse would. It's very, very, um, well, yeah, moving very much like a robot almost. Bouncy indeed. Bounce. And I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of noise, but we have a neighbor who clearly enjoys making a lot of noise. Uh, I don't know if my microphone catches it up or not, I hope not. Gold spur, there we go. The other Arabian horse that I had once, um, but I sold, the one that I don't remember which was Malika or Alima, is actually this one. Um, I sold her because, well, I wasn't convinced when I bought her, so... <laughs> yeah. It's a bit strange though that they haven't updated the horses in this paddock, especially the black one. Another thing that I saw in an update is that we're supposed to have more options for picking the names right now than we've had... Oh my, I'm just gonna do one really quick thing here. I don't want all the chat pop-ups to pop up. <laughs> um, yeah, they're gonna, they've given us more options for names and it's also supposed to be like 
you can give him basically a name with only one word instead of two. So I could have called my horse Autumn instead of Autumn Dancer. Uh, but I like Autumn Dancer, so I'm gonna stick to that name. Um, okay, let's see. This one, I am not gonna buy. I'm not a fan of the color. Uh, this white one, as I've said, I'm gonna update it. Uh, and this is the one that I spoke about. Um, it doesn't look like real life spirit did. Um, and I'm, I'm not a fan of when the horse is, um, uh, what's that called again in English? Oh my god. Never mind. But I'm not a big fan when the white crosses over the eyes. I've never been a fan of it in real life or, or horses in games. So I don't want to buy this horse. And besides, it doesn't look as much as Barrett really did as the one that I have in my stables. So I'm not going to buy this one. But as I said, I'm going to buy this one. I may buy this one. But I'm not going to replace it with first. Oh my god. There is one detail about this horse that actually is just like first though. She also had this. I don't know what you call it in English at all. Actually, I know what they call it in Norwegian. But she had this. And she also had, you can see on the uh, right back leg. That's the kind of marking that she had on her um, left front leg. All the other legs were without any markings though. Uh, the thing on her nose, well first doesn't have that. She, as I said, she only has a C in her forehead. But this horse does look like her. Um, she's had three foals. Spirit was the first one. Actually there was one before that, but that... Um, I don't know if foal died in her stomach or right after birth, but that foal never got to grow up. Um, but the first one that did was Spirit. And the second one is called Dio Mio. He's uh, very, a very look-alike of his mother, to be honest. And then we have the third one, and she's just uh, two years, I think. She looks a lot like this. So I'm gonna buy this one and call her Nutella. <laughs> I can't afford buying many horses right now though. Only one actually. Um, people seem to love this grey one. Uh, I I might buy it. I think it's pretty, but it won't replace my evening mist because evening mist has a very rare color, I think. Here is the one that I'm gonna buy today. Because, I mean, although I like sort of the um, color of my Generation 1 horse. We got to be honest, this one is much prettier. <laughs> At least I think so. So let's buy it. Peach. You can't just call him A. You can? Really? <laughs> okay, that's odd. Attack. Oh, now I got a little bit of phasmophobia vibes for some reason. Basalt. But no, there are so many strange things here. Strange words for names. Botanic. Okay, I can see some new names here, definitely. Chance. Is that a new one? Sit. One of my horses is called Citrine, and now they got Citrine in the game. Really? <laughs> I'm not gonna update the horse, uh, the game, the name of the horse in the game, though. I don't wanna spend cash on that. Or star coins. Coins. It's called coins. Anyway. But one of my horses, one of my magical horses, uh, which used to be Jorvik Wild, but no longer is. I don't remember the new name. Of the breed, but one of those is actually called Citrin, so that's typical that I only get to see that now. I might do it, maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna buy the horses that I want first. <laughs> I mean, I'm a star reader, lifetime star reader, so I do get a hundred uh, star coins every week, so might, might not, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just babbling right now. Okay, I can definitely see that there are some new ones, but I'm gonna have autumn anyway, so.
And this is probably how you can choose to have just... Oh, okay, yeah. Interesting. So I got to check out that update and the Arabian Horse update today. <laughs> uh, I didn't plan to do much more than an Arabian Horse, but it just happened. Autumn Dancer, or maybe just Autumn. Autumn or dan Autumn Dancer. Actually, I do want to call her Autumn. Yeah. In honor of the Generation 1 Autumn Dancer, I'm gonna call the Generation 3 just Autumn. <laughs> I can update Spirit Kiss to only Spirit! Yes! I actually call her first Spirit though, just to... Because I do have a Spirit, the Stallion of Zimaron too. So it's a little bit confusing with two Spirits. So sp Spirit, the Stallion of Zimaron, and sp first Spirit. <laughs> okay, um... Let's go back to my home stable and pick up the new horrors and then go to Fort Pinta just to check out the black one. Yep, we're here. Okay, I'm gonna... Untag Autumn Dancer completely. I'm keeping an eye on my camera because I'm, I've had so much experience with it turning itself off lately. Okay, um, go back to your stables. Um, where are you? There you are. Hi, Autumn. Oh my god, don't do that. I don't want to put on so much on her because sell those. I don't want crappy shoes. Uh, I don't want to put anything on her legs because I just want to see the legs completely. Um, uh, I need to. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's... Ha! <laughs> I just realized that now that I didn't change my mittens. They're purple. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Don't care. Okay. Autumn Dancer. I am sorry to say this, but... I'm gonna have to sell ya. She'll be reunited with all the old horses that I have outdated. It's a, it's a little bit sad when you dance, but... <laughs> Why is it so sad? Every time. I love you. You were one of my first horses in the game, after all. Okay, but for, bef before I go out with this horse, I am gonna check these out. And I want to... No, other way. There we go. Okay, um... Ah, it's a little bit annoying that we can't go any faster, really. Okay, so... Actually, I'm gonna open up photo mode. Just don't do that weird face while I'm doing that. Okay. I'm just kind of still doing it. Ears forward, girl. Oh, that tongue! <laughs> okay, so here we got the brown one, I guess. Um, white one. Oh, that was a cute face expression, by the way. White one definitely looks better on her. And then the black one. 
DIY one is definitely her style, but it is a leading rope and not a bridle. I mean, you got reins. You, you got a leading rope instead of reins, so it's a, uh, what do you call it? Not a bridle, but a, oh, I'm bad at the English terms. I really am. Oh, but it looks so calm and gentle when you lead her, though. She really does, doesn't she? Oh, that's cute. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't. I meant I, not O. Um. Sorry, but I am a little bit annoyed by uh, purple gloves, mittens, whatever. Um, no, wrong. This is where I keep my special stuff that works on only a few horses. I meant to say halter. That's what I meant to say a little bit earlier. But I guess you can't call it that. What, what do you call it? No, it is a halter. Okay. So, I mean, I have in real life been riding with a halter and a leading rope, but it's not to recommend really. It's uh, unless you're really good and you really know the horse, I don't recommend it. I could have done it with first. I did anything with her, but I wouldn't have done it with any other horse, no. Okay. Fort Pinta it is. Wait, I'm just gonna walk. Trots. Why don't we uh, go in here and just show off the gates first before we go? Okay. You can see that I'm recording a little bit later than I normally do because the sunset has started. <laughs> you definitely got the tail right. Canter. Gallop. And then full gallop. As you can see, it's not as bouncy as the uh, Generation 1. And it's stretching more naturally out, like a real-life horse would. How does it stop when it's uh, going fast? Oh! That was a little bouncy! <laughs> How does it stop when... You don't go fast? Okay, but it wasn't one of the tricks, the special tricks with the Arabian something to do with Rari? Let's have a look. Okay, uh, basically the same animation on the rearing, but when you push the spacebar, it takes a few steps after reared up. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go to Forpinta. Ah, oh, North Swedish, they're beautiful. More people testing out the new Arabian. <laughs> I think it was for Pinta. I may be wrong though. Could be out. Too late for that now. Here it is, all lonesome. Well, the, all the other Arabian horses get a lot of attention. This one is just standing here alone. So... The awesome Arabian has new look, and that includes new altars, that's all. Okay, I know that already. Um, guys, 
since this poor black beauty is standing all by its lonesome, you, you saw how crowded it was at Goldsburg. But look here, there's only one more player admiring this beauty. I think you should go and buy it. And... Oh, I'm gonna pick up that trash. Yes, I think you should go buy it. And not just that. We've reached the end of this video. So, if you bought this beauty, I think you should leave a like. Actually, if you bought any of the Arabians and if you like the Arabians, or generally just liked a video about the Arabian thoroughbred or Pinto Arabian for that. I just punched something. <laughs> if you bought any of the Arabians at all, or if you just like a video about Arabian thoroughbreds and pinto Arabians, just... <laughs> now I sound desperate. <laughs> no, I, I don't mean it like desperate. I just... I think the Arabians need a little... Um, well, they're beautiful and... It's really something special about him. Um, just have a look. I'm gonna zoom in on his head. It's got a really cute expression. Oh. But yeah, seriously. If you bought this poor, lonesome black beauty, leave a like. Or maybe even leave a comment, that's better. If you bought any of the Arabian horses, or if you do have any Arabian horses, I don't care which generation, because as you could see, even if I am updating the ones that I'm saying I'm gonna update, I still will sit here with Generation 2 and Generation 1 Arabian thoroughbreds and Pinto Arabians. So, I don't judge based on what generation you're at. I mean, some of them... Ah! <laughs> Speaking of which, some of them has special coats and unfortunately SSO are not bringing all coats into the new generations so we do connect to certain coats and therefore we cannot upgrade it with a coat that doesn't even look alike so I absolutely respect the choice of keeping generation 1 or generation 2 horse I respect that you can't stand the old generations. I respect that you can't can't even stand the new generations. I don't really care what you do. But here's a video for those who like Arabian thoroughbreds and Arabian mixes like Pinto Arabians and like what my darling first in real life is. So leave a like and I hope you will comment. Comment your opinion about the Arabian, about the update. Uh, for example, the update about the names, because I, I, I did like that. I found that kind of handy, and it gave us a lot more options, a lot more choices, so definitely like that. Uh, and next week, by the way, before I end this video, we're going to have a mission, a quest, an adventure. Next week, we're going off to an adventure. Apparently the Soul Riders, I've heard rumors, the Soul Riders and Fripp is involved. It's gonna be exciting, I hope. <laughs> it's been so long since last time, so yeah, guys, oh my god. Oh, he got two more visitors. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited for next week, I hope you are too. I am excited about the update for Arabian Horses too because I've been waiting it, especially for this Palomino, for a really long time. So, I hope you were excited about this video and I hope you will join me next video on a new adventure. The tail and the old trail, wandering along, walking through a land, a land they're calling down. Long, long time ago, this land was colorful.
filled with love and joy, where no one felt alone. Side by side they go, off to their desires. Although they were still down, down in the hot fire.